This picture snapped as the flames were still shooting out of a small plane that crashed in a Butler County neighborhood. Nine on your side, the first television news crew capturing the scene. They got it put out really, really quickly, but um, there were, really wasn't anything they could do. Good evening. Two people are dead and one house uninhabitable after that small plane crashed this morning, apparently trying to make an emergency landing. Here's a look at the area where this happened. You see Sunrise View Circle. This is Cincinnati Dayton Road here. Here's I-75. So right in the middle here uh, is where this happened. And I believe we have a picture of the neighborhood itself. Uh, let me show you the homes where this happened. If we can pull it up, here it comes. These are the two homes. The plane apparently shot straight through the middle of those two homes on Sunview Circle. We want to go uh, live to John Genovese, who is at the scene of those homes tonight with a live report for us right now. John? Julie, the FAA and sheriff's deputies are still trying to piece all of this together. Meanwhile, a section of this street has been taped off as crews continue to work. But take a look behind me. They're now in the process of disassembling that plane and loading it onto three large trucks that just arrived here around an hour ago. Now, neighbors say they've seen those small stump planes flying overhead before, but never expected anything like this to happen. I woke up uh, to a really, really loud crash. I came out of my house, I saw smoke, I saw a lot of smoke, I saw people running toward this crash site. A crash site between two homes in this Liberty Township neighborhood. Two men, a pilot and passenger inside this red aerobatic biplane, pronounced dead at the scene. He seemed to be putting on a nice show. He was doing some tricks, looked like some barrel rolls and uh, some loops. Tom Knox says he was drinking coffee on his back deck when he sensed something was off. And he started to climb up. And it stalled, and he started to spin in. We thought oh, that's part of the show because you know most of the time those guys will do that and then pull out at the last second, and take off again, and it never happened. Moments later, that plane grazed two homes, tearing through one before catching on fire. As I was coming down the street, the fire trucks were screaming around the corner, and um, they got it put out really, really quickly. Residents tell us they've seen stunt planes flying overhead before. They do a lot of the aerobatics and things here all the time. Fire crews, sheriff's deputies, and federal investigators all responded to the crash that by chance or intention didn't injure anyone on the ground. I just think it's pretty incredible that he was able to get it between the two houses and into the backyard. And tonight, the home you see right now has been deemed unfit to live. Excuse me, the family who lives there now working to find somewhere else to stay tonight. We'll, of course, keep working to bring you more details on this crash, both on air and online at WCPO.com. But for now, reporting live, John Chen of EC9 on your side. All right, John, as we've been telling you, Not On Your Side was the first local station to bring you pictures from the scene. Our crews were gathering these all day long. I want to show you some of them. Here, here is the picture between the two homes. You see how it crashed through here and went through. And as we move through, now you see more of the crews out on the scene. And you can barely see here the crash here. And I want to show you, I don't know how well you can see how the siding on the back of this home melted. Let me see what else we have here because there's another shot I wanted to show you. And it's not going to go for me. But we're going to have all of these on WCPO.com. And we'll have more details on this coming up at 11. I want to show you a photo of the plane because we did a little digging to find out more about the plane itself. Here's a picture of the plane before the crash, the type of plane. We're told four people own it, all related, all experienced pilots. The plane was built back in 1994 and was recently sold from North Carolina. It took off this morning from Butler County Regional Airport. Again, stay with Nine on your side as new developments emerge. We're working to learn more about the pilot and those final moments. Also, stay on top of our coverage on WCPO.com. So.